Hello guys, welcome back to the playroom and to yet another doll related video. <laughs> so I've got with me today guys, um, two dolls as a matter of fact that I wanted to share with you all. These are a bit different. They're vinyl. They're amazing. They're super cute. At least on video I've seen they are, they look really, really cute. So I bought a couple of these. It took a while for them to get here, but they finally did. And I just want to share them with you guys. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get on with the show. doll friends welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having a wonderful day today or night and it's nighttime where you are but i'm back at you with another doll video and these are going to be the munts dolls m-o-n-s-t munts um i saw these on my friend lisa's channel and lisa has a few of these actually and i just kind of fell in love with these little dolls so i already took them out of the main box because it was a hot mess <laughs> it was a mess anyway so i took them out of there and they're still wrapped up in this so i'm just going to go ahead and tear right into this so we can get into these little vinyl beauties now these are an actual um company doll called munst m-o-n-s-t but they are relatively easy to get you can actually even get these on aliexpress and if you get them on aliexpress they are not recast or counterfeit or anything like that they actually come from the company the munst company because i believe they are made in china anyway if i remember correctly um, these are uh, some pretty dented up boxes <laughs> <laughs> okay guys so here are my two little dolls um, and here are the boxes let me give you guys a close-up of one there is the name of the doll right there so we have months m-o-n-s-t um, and these are a vinyl jointed doll um, here is the side of the box if you guys want to pause and take a look at that here is the back of the box. They are recommended for 15 and up, so they're not a toy. They're not really made for children. They're made for an older or an adult collector. Here's the other side of the box, and here is the back of the box. So this is the Mutt doll. This is what the box looks like. I got two different sculpts because I just thought they were super, super cute. So let's go ahead and just dive right into one. Um, they do come with clothes. However, I, if I remember correctly, you have to buy the shoes separately, which I did order the shoes, but the shoes I got, I think one pair is way too small <laughs> and it, it's, I don't think it's going to work at all. So you guys, I have some good incoming dolls to share with you guys this week. I have the new smart doll relentless in T on her way. Um, I actually got shipping notification last night, so she should be here probably Wednesday this week. So I'll definitely share her with you guys. And then I have a few project dolls that I kind of wanted to share with you all, but we're into the box. She is nude, so you have to dress the doll yourself. There she is, and her outfit does appear to be in there. There's another box in the box. So that's what they look like in the box. And she's kind of cute. I can't really see her that well. We'll have to get her out and take a better look at her. And she was a really easy doll to get out. So again, they are jointed, which I really like. That's one of the things that kind of drew me to them. I love my jointed dolls. Um, and they're small, they're on the smaller side. So I like that. Because as you guys know, when you're a collector, especially a doll collector, room gets limited and you have to really think about the size of the dolls that you continue to collect and these are small so I'm pretty sure I can find room for these she is really cute you guys so I'm gonna take a quick look at this little body so here is her adorable little face she is super super cute so she turns at the head let's see she turned yet yeah, she moves up and down so she's on a ball jointed head so she can rotate that head in any direction so we love that. So she has a ball jointed shoulder joint. So she moves at the shoulder. So we can lift that shoulder up. We can lift it down. We can go all the way around. So she does move wonderfully at the shoulder. She also has another ball joint here at the elbow. 
so we can bend that elbow. It is single jointed at the elbow, but she does bend it and bends it really well. And then she has a little ball joint in her hand, so we can move that wrist all the way around. So we like that. So she also has a little torso joint right there. I don't know, no, this doesn't do anything. So I'm not sure why the torso joint is there. I suppose maybe just to put it all together. But she does not bend at the torso. No bending there, but she does have her hip joint. So her legs go up and they go back down. So up and down on the legs. We love that. And it looks like they'll go out as well because that is a ball joint. So that is really cool. She can do some really cute poses. She also has what looks like a ball joint at the knee and you can see the ball in the back. So she can bend the knee. It is double jointed. And there you go with the knee joint. And then she also bends the joint at the ankle, has a little ball joint down there. So we can bend those little toes down. We can bend them up. We can turn from side to side whatever your little hearts desire. So that is the mobility of the body, which I really, really like. I love the body mobility. And I've seen her again on my friend Lisa's um, page. And I love, love, love these little dolls. I think they're just so cute. So I went ahead and ordered two. I'm going to go ahead and get out the other one really quick. And we'll take a quick look at her. And then I'm going to get them dressed off camera. And then we'll come back and take an even better look at them. But this one is super cute, you guys. This one actually has a completely different face mold. And I hope that they sent me the correct one. And they did. She was a lot more expensive. So this little girl, if I remember correctly, was $27. And US dollars. And this little girl was 50. So she was almost twice the amount. But I think it's because of her face mold. I mean, she's really, really adorable. I couldn't resist. I just had to spend the extra money and get her. Because I thought, well, these will probably be the only two that I get. Maybe. Probably. Hopefully. <laughs> and I thought I would just go ahead and splurge and get the one that I really wanted. And this is the one that I really, really wanted. And then I have a thing for redhead. So I went ahead and got that one. It's the Irish in me. But here is this one's face mold, and she's so cute. She's got little teeth. I'm a sucker for dolls with teeth. Isn't she cute, you guys? She is so cute. I love the teeth. Her hair is a hot mess. We're gonna have to get that situated. But this one has teeth, and then she has the same body as the other one. So inside the box, there's also another smaller box and I've already taken the package out and this is what their clothes come in. It's really, really cute. There's little teddy bears, there's an ice cream cone, there's a little orange, a little pot of honey up there. Um, just really well packaged, but this is what the clothes come in. So let me go ahead guys and get these two girls dressed off camera and I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and I've got the dolls all dressed up and they are so cute. It was a challenge to get these dolls dressed, maybe because I've got nails. I don't really know, but it was a bit of a challenge. But here is the first little girl. She is super, super adorable. I love this one and this is the one with the teeth that I really, really liked. Um, so she has this cute little head bonnet and it's got these little fluffy ears on it, what look like fluffy ears. So cute. I don't know if these are teddy bear ears or I think it is teddy bear ears. There is the bear on her little package. This outfit is the cutest thing I've ever seen. So it's like a two piece outfit. She has this adorable little dress with all this detail. I hate that that's covered up because that is so pretty you guys. Is that not beautiful? I love this right here. But it's covered up by the skirt but that's okay because the skirt is absolutely adorable. Um, and then she has these adorable polka dotted socks, which really bring out the red in the outfit. And then her shoes don't fit. <laughs> I have pulled and tugged and pulled. I think they would almost fit without the socks, but because of the socks, there's just absolutely no way. And even without the socks, I still couldn't get them on, but I think maybe if I pulled hard enough, I might be able to. No, I don't think I could. So these shoes will just have to be for another doll. And it's a shame because they're so detailed and cute. But they're too small. They're just, they're too small. So, um, not going to work. I already ordered some more. I literally just ordered some while I was dressing them. So maybe they'll be here in a month or two or three weeks. I don't know. Because they're coming from AliExpress. 
but I love her. I think the outfit's adorable. She is super cute. I have no idea if she will stand um, without shoes. Or even if she would stand with shoes. I don't know. Think so? No, she's not. She's just really cute. <laughs> but that is the first little girl. I hate that she doesn't have shoes, but they'll be here one day. And the other little girl is so adorably cute. So this is the little redhead. I think she's adorable. I love her little bangs. I love her little eyes and her little eyebrows. I mean, she's just so cute. I think I completely messed her hair up. But look at her eyebrows, guys. Like, she's so adorable. Isn't she cute? She has the cutest little bear on her skirt, the skirt part of her dress. This is a two-piece outfit as well. So it's like a full dress. And then you put this little teddy bear skirt over the dress and it just changes the look completely. And then you can see this kind of lacy, ruffly detail, or I guess just ruffle detail at the bottom. She has on these red socks. And then I got her these red shoes <laughs> because I, for I forgot her socks were red. I was trying to pull out the red in her little headband and the little red collar with that adorable stitch detail. Look how detailed that is. I will say these dolls, their clothes are really, really detailed, but the collar has the stitching in it, which is adorable. And then she has the red headband and then I got her the red shoes to match and then kind of, I don't know. Actually, I really don't mind the red shoes with the burgundy socks. <laughs> I mean, it's, the, it's gonna have to work because these shoes are like 12, $13, 15 after shipping. So I'm not buying two pairs of shoes, so these are gonna have to work, but I actually really like her. So what do you guys think? I think they're adorable. I love the hair quality. Super, super soft, really nice hair. It almost feels like nylon, which is a really great quality hair. Um, and nylon hair lasts forever. I'm not exactly sure what type of hair this is. Almost feels like Saran. I'm not sure, it might be nylon. It feels very similar to my Tony's. I have some some Tony dolls with nylon hair and they're like 60 years old or maybe older and their hair is still like this. It's amazing. Nylon hair lasts forever. So I don't know. They have really good quality hair. Their outfits are extremely detailed and adorable. I love that. Cutest thing ever. So these are again the Mux dolls. They're really, really cute. These will probably be the only two that I get, but I wanted to share them with you. There they are again. Of course, I'll take photos at the end of the video and let you guys see them in greater detail. All posed and cute. But these are the Mux dolls. So guys, I also got these really cute German dolls that I just fell in love with when I painted one for my, for my friend. It was her childhood doll and her daughter broke the arm off. So I fixed the arm and then I gave it a new face set because the face set was completely gone. Well, I found one online, and these are the Zap Creation Dolls, and that's spelled Z-A-P-F. There it is right there, Z-A-P-F Creation. This one had original outfit, original shoes, original socks. I mean, she was beautiful. She was still in the box. However, um, she's really old. I think these came out in the 70s or maybe... Some of them are 60s, so I think she came out in the 80s. She was really sticky. When this vinyl, some when these vinyl dolls get really, really old, like this would be a 40-year-old doll, maybe 50, it gets sticky. It gets dust on it. The dust just sits on it, and it gets really sticky over time. So Dawn Dishwashing Liquid, take Dawn Ultra, the Ultra Dawn Dishwashing Liquid, and some hot, hot water and a magic eraser or a really nice textured washcloth and just wipe the whole, all the vinyl off and all that stickiness comes right off. Dawn dishwashing liquid, hot, hot water and a magic eraser or a really, really good rough washcloth. So I got her really cleaned up. I washed her hair cause it was even sticky. It was really tangled um, just from being so old. I washed it, I deep, deep conditioned it with Remy um, synthetic hair shampoo, and I let it air dry, and you guys, it's like human hair. <laughs> I mean, it is like, it is like, you. I mean, it's so nice. It's like human quality hair that you would 
buy at a hair store. <laughs> I would put this in my hair. <laughs> I wish this were my hair, actually. Um, but anyway, they have really good hair. I love the hair quality. It's so soft. I'm not sure what fiber this is. It's a very nice quality hair, whatever hair this is. Um, but really, I mean, after just washing it and conditioning it and then letting it air dry, I mean, this hair is amazing. I wish you guys had seen it before. So I basically washed the whole doll, cleaned her up, washed her hair. I gave her a new face up. So this is what she looks like now. And I'll show you guys a quick picture of her before. And this is what she looks like now after I painted her face. So I'm really happy with the face up. Her eye is a little crackledy right there though. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little crackle behind the acrylic. So I'm gonna replace that eye and I think I'm gonna keep this doll. I really, really like her. I think she just will look so cute in the doll room. Cute little collectible doll, German doll. Really good quality. She cleaned up, she smells amazing. I love her, I love her so much that I found another one at a great price. This one has blonde hair and blue eyes. And of course I gave her a face up as well. Um, and they have the sleepy eyes, so open and close. But there is her face. The face up is all me. Her hair came out amazing again. With just a nice wash. Now this one's hair was in really rough condition. <laughs> It was knotted and tangled, and she was definitely played with. Um, her hair was in terrible condition, but it washed condition. Remy hair shampoo for synthetic hair. It brought it right back to life. Remy is actually more of a wig shampoo, um, synthetic wig shampoo, but you can also use it for Remy human hair. Some of you may or may not know what that is, but the Remy hair shampoo works so good on these dolls with this old synthetic hair and it just brings it right back to life. So I'm really happy I found her. I just put her in a little, this is actually a little newborn outfit that I found at Walmart a long time ago. And so I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep her or sell her, but that was my other little project. And then I got this doll and I'll show you guys what she looked like before. And this is what she looks like now. And of course I did her face up. I think it turned out really, really well. I think she's such a pretty doll. Um, there she is. She came in the box. Still looked brand new, but of course she was really sticky from age. Cleaned her up really well. She feels wonderful now. Her vinyl feels amazing and soft and perfect. Washed her outfit. It came out immaculate. Um, so the original outfit. And then look at this hair, you guys. <laughs> this hair is so, so nice. It wasn't in rough shape like the blonde, like the blonde doll. It was just really dried out and it was just really sticky from just being so old, you know, cause this is a 40 year old doll or more, but look how that hair came out. I wish you guys could feel it. It feels like butter. I mean, it's so soft. I can't even tell you how nice th this hair is. So this is this little girl. I think I will be putting her up on eBay for sure. I did pay a little bit more for her. I mean, I put a lot of work into her. I washed her whole body. I restuffed her a little bit. I washed her clothes. I hand washed them and dried them. Cleaned her, gave her a new face up, washed her hair and let that dry overnight. I deep conditioned it. It's so nice. She smells amazing. I may list her for like $1.15 on eBay. I'm not sure. Cause I, like I said, I did pay a bit more for her and I put a lot of work into her. She is so beautiful. So this girl may be going up for sale. Um, my eBay is angelindy 7 If you're interested in her, I'll probably have her listed this weekend. I think she's really cute. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I wanted to show you guys my doll projects and the dolls that I recently painted. And then share with you guys the Mux Girls. I think they're adorable. You can get these on AliExpress. So there are other websites that you can find these on as well. Thank you guys again so much for your time and for 
always being supported. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already for more fun Dolly content. I love you guys to the moon and back. Stay safe, be kind, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.